welcome to week number one of this golf fitness mobility program. During the next four weeks, I'm going to be showing you a series of exercises that you can do to improve the mobility of your golf swing. Each week you will see one foam rolling move to help you release key muscles for the golf swing, an upper body move to improve your shoulder turn, a lower body move that will help power up your hip turn, and last but not least, a disassociation move to teach you how to move your upper and lower body separately for a good golf swing sequence. Let's go. Our first move is a thoracic spine roll. Today, we will be using a foam roller to release the tightness of these muscles, which will in turn allow us to improve our shoulder turn. Place your upper back area on top of the foam roller. Instead of rolling down and up fast like a rolling pin, go slow, rock from side to side, and whenever you find a tender area, hold pressure in that spot for 20 to 30 seconds until you feel the muscle release. Once you're done, continue rolling until you find another tender spot and repeat until you're done rolling the whole area. You can intensify this move by lifting your butt and shifting your weight from side to side so that more of your body weight is used to apply pressure to the muscles. Next up, we will be using the foam roller to do some thoracic spine extensions. Not only this move will help us improve our posture, it will also allow us to rotate more efficiently during the golf swing. Start by laying on top of the foam roller so it ends up a little south of your shoulder blades. Keep your knees bent, your butt down, and gently place your hands behind your head. Slowly start extending your upper back as far as you can go while keeping your butt down and your abs activated. Avoid flaring your ribs and focus on not allowing any movement in the lower back. At your end range, open up your elbows as far as you can, but be careful not to end up pushing your head forward with your hands. You should feel a deep stretch in your mid-back and chest. Maintain a controlled pace and try to go a little bit further with each rep. The next active figure four stretch will help us mobilize the hip area for a more powerful and efficient hip turn. Lay down on your back with your knees bent. Cross one of your legs over the other and while keeping your abs activated, begin driving the knee of the crossed leg forward. When you reach the spot in which your knee won't go any further, continue pushing forward for 20 seconds. You will feel a deep stretch in your glutes and hip area. When crossing your leg, make sure not to put your ankle in a compromising position. Instead of putting your ankle on the leg, make sure you have leg-to-leg -leg contact. You can do three 20-second holds of this exercise per leg two or three times a week. Being able to move your upper and lower body separately is a must for a good golf swing sequence. The following torso and pelvic rotations will teach your body how to do this. First, start by getting into a golf stance with your arms crossed in front of your chest. Begin rotating your torso while keeping your lower body as stable as possible. Eventually, you want to see zero movement in the hips while you rotate the upper body. Now flip it and try to rotate your hips while keeping your torso completely stable. Focus on actual hip rotation as opposed to side-to-side -side movement. You can do these exercises two to three times in the next week. And stay tuned for week number two's exercises coming next week here on Golf.com.